All right, let's get started. Again, hi everyone, thank you for joining our webinar. I'm Dawal, I'm the product manager here at Kinap, and today we'll be discussing our new video conferencing product, the Koibox 100W, the first release of the Koibox product line. We'll go over what it is, what it does, why you would use it, and some of its core features. So taking a look at the uh, here at the agenda, we'll be starting off by discussing what the Koibox conference, conferencing system is. We'll, be, uh, we'll then start going into what some of the features of the Koibox are, and then give you some use cases describing common scenarios on, on how to use the Koibox 100W. And we'll then have a Koibox demo followed by a Q&A session. All right, so what is Quarrybox? Quarrybox 100W is a video conferencing solution designed to be just deployed in a shared meeting rooms that uh, can connect remotely to other Quarrybox devices, computers, to third-party conferencing solutions like SIP systems, and mobile devices via, a, via our app called Quarrymeter and Quarrypath. This is a product meant to be used in scenarios where multiple people in one area want to hold a conference conference call with colleagues in the remote location. It is positioned as more affordable conference and solution. And here we'll, took, we'll quickly take a look at the actual box itself. The Query Box 100W has a DC power input. It includes an HDB 1.4B output for, uh, to be used to connect to a display or a projector. There are four USB Type A, USB Gen 2, um, USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, which is used to connect USB microphones, speakers, cameras, uh, keyboard, and mice. Um, so why would you use a clear box? There are many options to meet remote. Um, there are many options for meeting uh, remotely, such as Zoom meetings, Skype, Microsoft Teams, and more. But while those are good options for, for perhaps a single employee uh, in their home connecting to with others, who are each uh, in their own homes as well. When you get into environments where multiple people are joining into a video conference, conferencing call at the same location, you run into some irritating, irritating issues, right? One of these issues is that you want to display your laptop into a projector. In many cases, you'll be required to physically connect your laptop to via HDMI 4. Um, then that can get annoying because you have to, or you may need to move from your original seat, and if multiple people are presenting from your team, you will need to keep shoveling in and out of the seat for the next uh, for the next one to uh, to use a projector. The Coibox, each member ha is able to wirelessly connect to Coibox over the network, and through the Coibox, each individual is able to easily present with, without any unnecessary dis disruption as well. Another advantage of Coibox is that. Additional software isn't required to be installed on your computers to access Query Box and engage in, in these conferencing calls. You can save, oh, so you can save your storage space and hardware resources on your computer. Another thing to consider is that the laptops are not very ideal for video conferencing in groups. Whoever lends their laptop to be used for the video conferencing call will be, limit, will be limited in what they personally can do on their computer during the meeting because one of the computer has to be connected to the projector to, you know, to be able to join that meeting, right? Also, you'll be most likely just be able to use, um, use the subpar built-in microphone and uh, camera. So you'll be relying on the built-in microphone and the camera within the laptop or the computer, or you will need additional resources or accessories to the computers. Just having one dedicated mic uh, machine for video conferencing to set up, um, to set up keeps things simple and effective. Additionally, if you have multiple computers in a, in a room joining a video call, uh, there is likely to be echo and feedback of having multiple computers in the proximity to each other. So if you have multiple laptops or multiple computers joining via the, on, which are in the same room, you will have an echo issue as well because you know, everyone have, will have them, um, uh, mics open or speakers as well. So that will create additional issues. One way in which query box can be used in a private uh, query box can be used is in a private meeting between two people. This could this could include query box to query box, query box to computer, and vice versa, or query box to mobile phone as well, and vice versa. You can make these calls via uh, via SIP's connection, 
and you can use you can connect via the query code. The query code is like your phone number for query box. So query box can be used as a, in a private meeting room as well. So you can call a query box to query box, query box to your phone, query box to your computer. Another way is also um, having up to four people or four uh, four query boxes connected in a conference call. This is distinct from multiple work session that may connect to the query box. With this feature, you can connect meeting rooms across the country and even the globe. So you can connect, um, you can have up to four, diff uh, four different users connect on a four-way call, and they can all you know, be on the same call. The car box comes equipped with the 2.5-inch SATA uh, drive bay that you can install a 2.5-inch SATA hard drive or SSD inside of the query box. This can be used to store footage from the meetings. The query box allows you to record um, the meetings so they can be uh, referenced later in, the, in case if anyone missed anything. It, or you can review the video. This is especially helpful, uh, or helpful for trainings or in-class in classroom settings. So query box can record your uh, the active meeting so you can go back in time and play back the meeting if you want. If you missed something or if you want to provide that to another user. You can also share the link of that meeting to third party users so they can also you know, play back remotely as well. Query box features insight mode which uh, to enable individual computers or mobile devices to access the query box. With insight mode or insight view, users can view whatever is being shared on the box. They can also access the meeting and share directly from the workstation through the query box. This can be especially useful when multiple members of the, of the team need to present in a meeting or in a class or lecture environment, as many students or attendees can view the presentation right from their desktop or mobile devices. Especially, this is uh, really helpful, if, especially when you have um, when you when you have uh, when you're using Quibox for in a classroom or in a training environment, right? So if you're trying to present something, or if you have a uh, if you have a computer connected to a project or a television, and you're trying to present like an Excel file or Word document, users from their seats can have to squint their eyes to look at the numbers or words that you're presenting on their project or a TV, right? With Quibox, that actually solves that particular issue because Quibox with inside view. You can just provide the IP address of the query box to each individual um, uh, students or attendees, and they can just log into uh, on their computer or mobile devices or tablets, and they can look at what's being presented on the query box directly from their computer. So no need to um, squint their eyes to look at what's going on in the project or TV. They can just comfortably sit at their own seats and look at the presentation from their comfort of their own laptops tablets or phones. UNAP provides the mobile app called Query Meter, which enables you to join meetings with Query Box or other, or other mobile apps. Each device with Query Meter will have its own Query Code that, is, um, that can be used to call other devices. The mobile screen can be shared as well in meetings as well. So with the Query Meter app, you can actually call an, uh, your Query Box or you can actually call another uh, Query Meter uh, phone as well. So it can be a replacement of, for example, like a FaceTime. So you can actually do a, uh, a video conferencing call between multiple phones. We have applications for Android as well as for iOS. And you can also call between each other as well. You can call from, uh, you can call an Android phone to an iOS phone or iOS phone to Android phone. And it's free to use application and that you don't need to pay monthly subscription fee and you can use as well. With the advantage of having Query Meter application, you can use Query Meter to share your phone screen as well, or tablet screen. So if you want to share something from your phone, like an application, you're trying to demo something, you can actually use Query Meter application, share your phone screen, and just demo the application or just share whatever you're trying to share as well. Let's look at some use cases uh, scenario as well. The Query Box also integrates with other video conferencing platforms such as Microsoft Teams, Google Meets, and Skype to name a few. Uh, this, en this enables the flexibility to use Query Box in the video conferencing solution rooms when conducting meetings with other partners, customers, or organizations who may not have Query Box themselves. Query Box can actually be used to join your uh, Teams meeting or Skype meeting or Google Meets meeting as well. So it's not just 
it's uh, it's not just its own platform. It actually can also be used to join cloud meaning as well. And this is this is what puts us uh, puts Clearbox apart from other systems like Avaya systems. Avaya systems relies on their own Avaya platform, so you can only call another system or another Avaya system. But with Clearbox, you can actually join Microsoft Teams call as well or a Skype call as well. Clearbox is, is ideal for organizations with multiple meeting rooms or uh, multiple meeting rooms or multiple branches who want to able to host high quality video calls with their teams across location. It can be also be used in hybrid environments where uh, some of the employees may be able to may be able to remote in while others are in the office. Additionally, Clearbox can be de deployed in lectures or and classroom settings to help share a presentation. And so the so that the students can, or attendees can view the presentation directly on their laptops or mobile devices, giving them clear visibility and the ability to easily engage in the meeting itself. All right, let's look at the let's look at the live demo and see how the Coilbox looks like. Today, I'll be showing our new product, which is Coilbox 100W. It is a high-quality video conferencing and 4K wireless presentation solution for business meeting rooms. Clearbox can be a great fit for SMB to add professional video conferencing solution into their meeting rooms so they can have a controlled meeting instead of having everyone join through their laptops, creating a bandwidth and echo issues. So when everybody wants to join a meeting, usually they join via their own computers that will create echo and also create bandwidth issues because everyone is joining the same meeting, especially when they're doing cloud meetings. It is also a very budget-friendly solution if you have multiple sites and want to do a video conference solution between sites. You can also replace, or you can, if you have an existing SIP systems from Avaya, Coilbox can be an additional, um, uh, additional, um, no, additional um, device can also join Avaya calls as well. So, you no, know, great little solution for multiple options. Uh, before I start the video conferencing or video calling and wireless presentation demo, I would like to show you what the Coilbox interface looks like from the HDMI port of the device. So here's the HDMI port uh, of the device. You have the private meeting, which is basically uh, basically doing one-to-one -one call or four-way conference call between another query box, another SIP system, like an Avaya system. You can also call your uh, somebody's phone or tablet uh, using uh, uh, like basically iOS and Android devices if you have query meter app. So we have a query meter app that you can install on those devices and you can make and receive calls from Coibox to other Coimeter apps as well. So you can do four-way conference calls, basically have up to four people in the same meeting room. So if you have multiple sites, they can all, you can all collaborate uh, on the same call um, and join via the my private meeting room as well. Cloud meeting allows you to join clouds, uh, cloud meeting or co cloud calls or make cloud calls from Zoom, Skype, Microsoft Teams, Hangouts, and other um, the Google Meets and other um, no, web-based uh, calling devices. If you have, if your, if your cloud meeting option have uh, has a web browser option, uh, Coibox can just um, you know, join that meeting. You just paste for, paste your link here and just join via the Coibox. So uh, you can everyone can be on the same call by just adding one device. Uh, record option basically allows you to record your um, record the meeting room via the microphone um, and camera. So um, you can record that particular training or basically you can record your um, you know, classroom options as well. I'll give you another, uh, another use cases uh, shortly as well, but that's your record option. And recording just gives you the ability to play back what you just recorded. Uh, another thing I would like to show you would be um, you know, the settings option. The, the equipment test option basically allows you to test or change your microphone, camera, and audio output. You can also go under settings to give you language, change your language, keyboard layout, about, just gives you software, firmware version option, update your software, change networking as well. The Coibox does have built-in microphone, I'm oh, sorry, built-in um, Wi-Fi. So you can join to your existing Wi-Fi. It does support up to Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. So you can join that. Also has one gigabit port on the back of the Coibox. So you can just connect the network cable and join that as well. Um, you can uh, also connect Bluetooth microphone as well as Bluetooth speaker as well using the Bluetooth option. Uh, it has Bluetooth 5.0 for advanced Bluetooth connection as well. T change time zone background allows you to change between camera 
as well as just um, blank background um, you can also if you have if your room has a lot of echo issues you can calibrate echo canceller so you know the clue box will actually check the microphone and room to try to cancel your echo as much as possible uh, you can also change the resolution of the query box I have a 1080p connected 60 frames per second so you can also um, change the resolution from here as well advanced settings allows you to choose um, well, let me show you what advanced uh, allows you to do but before that the default account name is user and the password is MAC address let me enter that for you So um, advanced option allows you to change the recording disk settings, basically allows you to format the disk. Now the Koei box doesn't come with built-in disk, but it does have the ability to connect a 2.5 inch, inch hard drive or SSD drive within the disk. So you can, um, you can format that disk, I have an SSD connected, so I can format that disk within the, within the Koei box. It, you can also disable and enable video recording, so the part I showed you just a few minutes ago. You can actually disable that so Codebox doesn't do any kind of recording. You can also change the public access or recording access permission to public or uh, limited. Basically, because Codebox is going to be in a public room, basically a meeting room, anybody can just pick up the uh, the you know uh, pick up the uh, remote and actually just access your recordings. So with public access, you can anybody can just you know play back the um, play back that any any kind of recording. Or if you have limited access, they can they cannot they need um, uh, they have to go to a browser to play back that. So I'm just gonna leave it at public access. Legal just gives you information about the you know the policies and licenses. A reset you can reset your query box. Uh, power you can reboot or shut down your query box and overscan if you have an older monitor. Basically this allows you to you know overscan it so and you can adjust to your older monitor. And customer service allows you to, you know, contact us and gives you QR QR code to allow you to do, you know, basically just contact us or submit a service ticket as well. Um, before we move on, I would like to also show you um, right here what we have is um, the code box on the top is your IP address and code code. Basically, um, IP address again. This allows you to, um, you can use this via existing SIP system. So if you have an wire system, you can just uh, call your Query box with this IP address, but if you're gonna be just using Query box to Query box or Query box to Query window app, uh, Query code is what you're gonna be using to call each other. Think of Query box, sorry, Query, think of Query code as your phone number. This will be a unique number that's given to each and every Query, query box as well as Query meter application. So, if you want to call another Query box or if you want to call somebody who has a Query meter application, just get that Query code and you can call them. Also, if you want to if you want to receive calls from somebody who has a Koi box or Koi meter application, just give them your Koi code and they can call you via the Koi um, the Koi code application. If you want to share your screen during the meeting, you can just use uh, provide this IP address of your Koi box to that um, to that, or just if you want to use if you want to share your mobile screen, you can just um, um, uh, just scan this QR code. And uh, this will allow you to you know, share your mobile screen as well as your computer screen using this IP address. I'm going to show that in detail. But uh, so this is the basic interface of the query box. So let's move on to uh, the uh, making a first uh, call via query box. All right. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to call a query box. Right. To call a query box, you can go to private meeting, and under private meeting, you can go to dial pad and get the query code. Now, if you have the query code, you can just enter the query code. If it's another SIP system, you can actually call via the IP address. But I and you can also add them in your uh, address book, so you don't have to remember the query code. You can just add them in your address books. So now I'm just going to start the call. Uh, as I mentioned, with the private meeting option, you have the ability to join up to four people in the same call. So conference call up to four people, and uh, you can either call four query box or another three query boxes. So here we go. Hey Cody. All right. So that's the. Uh, so this is a call I've done. It's uh, Cody's on the other line on another query box. So as you can see right here, you have the ability to record this. So you can record this particular meeting if you wanted to. You can mute yourself. You can turn off the camera. 
Um, you can change the layout as well. If you have multiple people on the call, you can pin somebody as well. Um, you can also invite somebody if you wanted to. So if you want to have another call with another person, you can also invite them and uh, it will start calling that particular person and join them to the same call. Another great feature is if you wanted to have this, uh, if you wanted to share something within this particular query box, uh, you have to enter the IP address. So you have to go to a browser and enter the IP address of the query box. So uh, I'm just going to enter the IP address of the query box and uh, you're going to see this particular screen and on this particular screen you have the ability to call uh, no meeting presenters on the meeting presenter you can share your screen of your uh, of your computer so I can share the entire screen I can do a particular window or I can do a Chrome tab let's do a particular window um, like let's share the QFinder window so it's sharing the screen so if you go back to the query box um, right here you can see the QFinder window now this is an HDMI emulator so I've what I've done is I've um, I've shared uh, the HDMI on my on the code box is connected to my computer it's actually emulating what's showing on the code box itself, uh, itself so at the bottom you can see Cody is in the meeting room I'm in the meeting room I can and you can see my QFinder window being shared as well now this is through the browser that I have uh, that I'm sharing um, through the browser and uh, that's how I can share I can also if you have multiple people as well you can also do um, you, know, you can send messages as well you can share files as well and you can also show that or you can also see that it's actually uh, doing my presentation time so this is how we can actually share um, you know do a presentation through query box and that's also how it is um, so that's how also how it is to do uh, that's how easy it is to share your file also call another query box as well so I'm gonna end this particular call and um, yeah you can end this particular call so this is the private meeting option that you have at the query box as I mentioned you can do private meetings with up to four people uh, for different query boxes or or you can actually have query meter application so on Android and iOS you have the app you can also call three another four or you can actually have up to four people on the same call doing a conference call so that's that's a private meeting option now let's the next I'm gonna show you is cloud meeting alright so the next demo is cloud meeting right QNAP query box can join cloud meeting from providers like Microsoft Teams Skype Google Meets and you can have your query box join that meeting now the advantage uh, why not using your computer rather than no why not use your computer uh, over query box right um, no, you can join definitely you can join um, you no know, Microsoft Teams we are or meeting via your computer but the advantage of having query box is when you have more than one person in that meeting right let's say for example your whole team is invited to join a Microsoft Teams meeting right it's let's say it's over five like five people and you're all with it you're all in the same room so rather than having five computers join that same Teams meeting which is gonna create bandwidth issues first of all and also it's gonna create echo right you have to ask all your five personnel to you know mute, mute themselves you're gonna have multiple uh, speakers because everyone every every computer has its own speaker they can all listen to that um, so that's gonna create multiple issues right but the you know, code box can be a great solution for that for that reason right you can have just one code box with one set of uh, speakers and micro microphone join that particular meeting Everyone can just listen in and talk through the one speaker and microphone rather than have, have everyone join through their own laptop, right? That's that's the advantage of having query box join meeting when it's over one personnel. Uh, if you're just one-to-one -one call, your computer may be a good option, but query box can be a great solution when it's more than one personnel and the whole team is going to join that. So let's see how to join a no, cloud meeting. First of all, you have to go and click on cloud meeting. Now, if you're joining a meeting via a link, you have to you know, copy paste that link on this particular window. Uh, and there's another option I'm going to show you. But before that, um, you can also just go to Microsoft Teams and sign in. The you know, query box is going to ask you to sign in with your Microsoft login information. And you can just sign in with your login information. And just join directly from there. You can also call, you can also create meetings via Query Box, and also call somebody directly without a meeting. 
But what if somebody gave you a link to join via the uh, via the query box, right? Now, it, now if you have if you know anything about you no know, meeting room links, they can they tend to be very long, right? So query box has a solution for you. You can just go to the IP address of your query box. So I'm going to go to my IP address of my query box, and I'm going to go to a access cloud meeting. So once this window pops up, I can just copy and paste the link for that particular meeting. So right here, I'm going to copy this link, and I'm just going to paste this link on my from my computer. Right? As soon as I do that, if I go back to my query box, query box is going to start joining that meeting, right? And I'm going to click on continue the browser. Now continue on this browser and query box will now start to join this particular meeting. Now that's how easy it is to, so you don't have to remember or type the whole link on that particular query box. Just go to your computer, copy the link and snap and the query box will start joining. So I can name myself. I'm just going to put a query box and click on join now. Um, the QNAP will start joining this or a query box will start joining that meeting. Now I would need to, I can sign in if I wanted to, if I'm a registered user or I'm going to have to let, I'm going to have, or I'm going to have other personnel uh, in uh, allow me to join that particular meeting. So um, let, let's say I'm just going to join the meeting via my computer. Right, this is my computer and uh, this is the query box itself. So, so I have to admit myself. So I'm going to admit the query box in that particular meeting. So I'm admitting the meeting. And if I look at the query box right here, now query box is joining that particular meeting. Right? Now Cody is in that meeting as well. And he's sharing. So right here, like before we move on, I'm going to show you the interface, right? So the query box is now joined that meeting. I can see who's the participants. I can actually chat with them. I can raise my hands uh, as well. Um, I can actually just uh, you know uh, look at different types of gallery view. So whatever the teams will allow you to do, I can query box can do as well. Uh, I can also mute myself. I can actually turn off my camera as well. So I can do all of that right here within the within the query box. Now, another advantage of having query box as well is let's say some somebody sharing. Let's say this is a this is a an Excel that Cody is trying to share right now. If the query box is in the meeting room on a say on let's say you're connected to your large TV and you have more you have five or more person in that particular meeting, it's gonna be hard to see for everyone to see the numbers, especially when you're sharing Excel or Word documents, it's gonna be very hard to see the numbers within that particular meeting, right? It's gonna be very hard to see what's going on, what's who what's what's being shared, what what exactly has been written. So query box is a solution for you. Again, go back to that same uh, link or same IP address. You can give that to all the five people in that meeting room. And they can all go to Insight View. With Insight View, Query Box will now broadcast the HDMI port of itself onto all those five people. They can now see the Excel sheet or the Word document directly from their computer rather than to see the TV that's far away from their eyes, right? Instead of squinting their eyes to see the numbers and the letters that's being shared in that document or in the Excel or Word document, they can just sit at their own desk in the comfort of, uh, on the comfort of their own computer and just go to Insight View and just see the numbers or, or whatever documents that they're sharing from their own computer. They can still talk from the the shared microphone and speak and listen into the shared speaker that the query box is connected to but whatever the presenter is presenting they can all see from their own computer so that's another that's a great advantage that query box allows or query box gives you is to have instead of all the five people joining the teams meeting from their own computer and seeing the presentation query box is the one that's joining that meeting so only one set of speakers and microphone is in that meeting, but all the five personnel are able to see what's being shared by the presenter. So they can all sit at the comfort of their own desk and see what's being presented and listen through this, the shared speaker 
that's being connected via the query box. So that's the that's a quick demo of cloud meeting via the query box. Okay. So now we're gonna sh uh, go through the last scenario of the query box. All right. So the last demo for today would be uh, the record option within the query box. Right. Why would you use the record option in the query box? Um, some use cases that I would actually uh, recommend for query box is classrooms, college, uh, not college, uh, like classrooms, school classrooms, university classrooms, training rooms. You know, if you want to do some kind of training in your company, uh, now query box can be a great fit for those particular rooms. Is because not just it's not for not for calling basically you can do what you can what query box can do for you is in those particular use case scenario is it can record that particular session or classroom session or a training session that you're doing and also with inside view all your students or whoever is attending the training can actually see the presentation that you're actually sharing with the query box right so let me give you uh, let me do a quick demo so you can understand what I'm talking about, right? So with Coreback, let's say you're, um, I'm gonna, let's take an example of a training room, right? You have a you have a training for, uh, for your company for a new product that you're releasing or some a new software that you're releasing. And you have over 50 people in that training room with their own laptops and computers. And they're all within the same uh, classroom or meeting room. Now, with query box, you can actually install a query box in that particular in in, the, in that particular room, and you can actually connect your speaker and microphone or microphone in that same meeting room. On the query box, you can hit the record option, and the QNet will start recording that particular training. Right, right here, I can see that it's recording that training. I can actually turn off my um, camera if you wanted to. But I don't want to turn off my uh, microphone because I still want to record what's going on in that. Or I want to make sure I can listen into what's going on in that particular training, right? So I can keep that microphone on, but I can turn off my camera if I wanted to. I can leave the camera on if I wanted to, so everyone can see what's going on as well. Um, but let's. So the core box is actually recording what the speaker is speaking, right? So when the training is happening they can all listen in or the query box is actually listening into the, the speaker. The advantage of having this is when anyone wants to go back and and listen in or let's say if somebody missed anything or you want to give this particular recording or this particular clip or after the training you can actually share this particular recording to the, to everyone who's attended or who has not attended the training. They can actually listen back and and you know, go back and listen in what happened during that particular training. So that's one great option Query Box can do because it's recording that particular training. They, everyone can always go back and listen in on what happened during that training. Another part is let's say you're trying to share a presentation file or trying to do a demo of the of your software or uh, sharing a presentation file of the product. And you wanna uh, you want everyone to you know see from their own computer that particular um, presentation, right? Uh, so instead of having everyone have to uh, everyone looking at the same projector or same screen, you can just give the IP address to all your trainees and ask them to go to Insight View. With Insight View, now you can actually they can actually see what you're presenting via the query box. First of all, I can actually go back and then go to, I can actually share my screen as well. So if, let's say if I wanted to share something, I can just go to browser projection. I can select a particular window. I can share through that, uh, through that, uh, through that IP address as well. So I can actually, I'm actually sharing as well. And if I go back and actually go back to inside view, I can actually see what's being shared and everyone can see from their own laptops so instead of having everyone have having to see the same screen and squint, squinting their eyes again to see you know what you're presenting they can just on from the computer of him of their own desk they can see what's being presented by the presenter 
they can also chat with each other using this chat option so I can actually type a message and and they can all every all the attendees can share or chat with each other if they have a question they can also pose their question so the presenter can see what's been what questions are being asked and he can answer them through the chat or he can answer them you know, he can just talk out the question and then just answer that to everyone right so that's another great option that the QNAP also does. So once you're done with the training, you can click on end meeting. So this meeting has now been recorded and we are the same IP address. I can just go to the three dots right here and go to meeting and contacts, enter the login information for the query box. And I can see that I just recorded a training. I can actually delete that or I can actually play that as well if I wanted to I can download that particular file and I, I can also share this to everyone um, and then they can just go back and listen into what's being shared I can also pass a protected as well so nobody nobody no third party can access the particular link I can also expire this at a certain date and time so once the you can just share this for a month and after that month nobody can access the link so that's another great feature that Coibax will allow you to do when you know, using the meeting recording option. So those are the quick use case scenarios and a quick demo of Coibox. All right, so with that, uh, we'll open up the, the floor for Q&A. So if you guys have any questions and answers or Q&A for, uh, for this webinar, just, uh, just let me know uh, or just post it in the questions option and I'll be able to, I'll, I'll be happy to answer them. Yeah, so we have a few questions here. Um, so the first question is, can I uh, can Coibox call an Avaya system? So yes, a Coibox can actually call third-party uh, uh, SIP systems using the IP address for the Coibox. So um, we have the uh, in the dial pad, just put in the IP address of the Avaya system or your SIP system, and you can call that as well. So you can call the Avaya systems as well from that. Another question is, can I share the meeting recordings remotely? Um, so yes, so as I shown in the demo, so you can actually share that meeting recordings uh, via uh, my QNAP cloud. So users remotely can access the meeting and download the recording so they can play back the, the recording and see what happened during the meeting as well. Does Querybox come with any drives? Uh, no, the Querybox does not come with any kind of drives. Um, it does have a 2.5 inch, inch HDD bay, so you can actually um, just plug in any um, like, like a 2.5 inch hard drive or SSD and um, just expand the query box's um, internal hard drive. Can I call query box from a PC so or computer? Yes, so you can actually go, um, so let me show you this. Um, you can actually go to this uh, link or coimedo.qnap.com and using that particular link, you can actually call another query box. Um, so go to Dialpad and just put in the query code of the query box and you can call uh, from your computer as well. You can actually call another phone as well. So if you have a, a query phone uh, that you want to call from your computer, just use this Dialpad, just get that code. The query code, you can actually call them, uh, call uh, a query meter application or app on the phone or tablet or another computer as well. So you can just go to, uh, have some if some if you want to call somebody, just go to coimeter.qnap.com uh, on their computer and then just call another computer. So this can be used to call a query box, another query meter uh, phone or query meter computer. Do I need to use or do I need query box to use query meter? No, query meter can be actually be used via, as I mentioned, on, on your phone, computers, tablets. Um, you can actually use, um, so, to actually use the query meter on, uh, on, uh, app, on other devices as well, like um, the QNAP NAS as well. So you can actually use the query meter on a QNAP NAS that has HDMI um uh, HDMI or you have or um 
USB and HDMI. But uh, there's a list of compatible QNAP NASs that Commuter app can be used on. So ensure that your NAS is compatible as well. But as I mentioned, you can use your computer, Android QNAP NAS, or you can just purchase this Koi box specially for this application. And the last question that I have for today would be, what can I use for speakers and microphones? So if I go to if you go to Koi box, um, uh, the web browser, you can actually use a USB keyboard, uh, mouse, as well as USB microphone and um, USB speaker. You can also use Bluetooth as well. The Koi box does have Bluetooth 5.0, so you can actually use it, um, use um, a Bluetooth microphone and uh, speaker as well. We have a list of compatible ones that we tested with uh, with our system, like from Logitech, from uh, Jabra. Um, so you can actually use one of these as well. So to be fully compatible with Koi box. Well, that was the last question that, that was posted. You guys, if I'm going to wait for a minute more. If you, there's no further questions, then um, uh, we can end the webinar. All right, so that is it. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining our webinar. And we'll be following up with an email shortly with a survey. Please fill the survey for a chance to win a Koi Box 100W. So, uh, we'll be giving out a, a Koi Box, a new Koi Box 100W. Uh, to win that, just fill out the survey uh, with, in the following email that we'll be sh sending out shortly, and uh, we'll be able to ship that out to you guys. Thank you very much, uh, everyone, and you guys have a great day.